All right, this one combines the previous two questions, uh, both the connected triangles, and then it connects to area. The key to area, of course, is obtaining the base and the height. So the first thing we want to do is find these two values, and then that would allow me to um, obtain the area. Actually, as I look at this now, um, I immediately see actually even a simpler uh, solution than what I'm about to propose. Um, you could actually even, because the sides are perpendicular, um, actually the easier solution would be to find this one and this one. Those are also a base and height of this triangle. Let's do it both ways and see what happens. I use this as a teaching moment. So let's do the easier way. Uh, 12 root 3 divided by root 3 would just be 12. So I'm going to do the work over here because then I can compare it to my other technique. Um, let's see, times 12 divided by 2. So that's 144 uh, root 3, yeah, divided by 2. So final answer, 72 root 3 units squared. Now, if we were doing this a little bit differently, let me see if I can um, take that off. If we were solving this using the idea of this length and this length, um, let's try that and see what actually transpires. Let's remember, I'm going to clear things, so let's remember 72 root 3. So if I clear these other items off, um, let's try this. So that's a hypotenuse in that particular triangle. And so divide by 2 would be 6 root 3. And then this would be 6 root 3 times root 3, which is 18. And over here, this little piece here would be 6 root 3 divided by root 3, which would be 6. So one another way to obtain this would be to multiply 24 times 6 root 3. Now where's the 24 come from? These two values together is that base and the height is 6 root 3. And uh, guess what this comes out to be? 144 root 3 over 2 or in other words 72 root 3 units squared. Same answer as we got the other way but actually the first way was the simpler of the two.